I have already discussed in my previous videos for classes 8 and 9 explaining the rules of changing direct speech into indirect speech or vice versa. In this video also I am going to discuss about the change of narration. In the first sentence, are you going all the way to Dehra? I asked her, this is direct narration. I, the speaker is in the first person, her, the listener is in the second person. Uh, this is an interrogative sentence. Are you going all the way to Dehra? Are you going? Present continuous tense will be changed into past continuous tense. I asked her if she was going all the way to Dehra. As the sentence does not start with WH word, so I have to use the word if or whether. I asked her if she was going all the way to Dehra. She gave a little exclamation and said, I didn't know anyone else was here. She the speaker is in the third person. So, the speaker, the I, the first person is changed into the person of the speaker. I becomes she. She gave a little exclamation and said that the comma is dropped and I use the word that. She gave a little exclamation and said that she had not known anyone else was there. They didn't know. Simple past is changed into past perfect tense. She had not known. I didn't see you either, I said, but I heard you come in. I said that I hadn't seen, didn't see, the simple past becomes past perfect tense. I said that I hadn't seen her either, but I had heard her come in. Heard simple past tense becomes past perfect tense. I said the speaker is in the first person. So, the I inside the inverted commas remains unchanged. The girl said, I am getting off at Saharanpur. My aunt is meeting me there. There are two sentences. So, I have to connect these two sentences while changing the narration. The girl said that she was getting off. I am getting off. Present continuous tense is changed into past continuous tense. The girl said that she was getting off at Saharanpur and added that her aunt was meeting her there. Is meeting the present continuous becomes past continuous tense. I replied. Aunts are usually formidable creatures. I replied that aunts were usually formidable creatures. Are usually the present tense becomes past tense. I replied that aunts were usually formidable creatures. Where are you going? She asked me. She asked me where I was going. Where are you going? This is an interrogative sentence. She asked me where wh word so if or whether is not used here. She asked me where I was going. Present continuous becomes past continuous. She asked me she is the speaker and me is the listener and the you inside the inverted comma is second person is changed into the person of the listener where I was going to Dehra and then to Missouri I said I said that I was going to Dehra and then to Missouri was going is added over here oh how lucky you are she said this is an exclamatory sentence. She exclaimed, said is moved, exclaimed is used. She exclaimed that I 
the narrator was very lucky. She said, it is supposed that she said to me, so me is in the first person, so you, the second person is changed into the person of the listener. Always the second person inside the inverted commas is changed into the person of the listener. She exclaimed that I, the narrator, was very lucky. The simple present is changed into simple past tense. She said, I wish I were going to Missouri. She said that she wished she was going to Missouri. The girl said, I love the hills. The girl said that she loved the hills. Love becomes loved. The girl, the third person, the speaker is in the third person. So, the first person inside the inverted commas is changed into she or the third person. That is the person of the speaker. The girl said that she loved the hills. Love becomes loved. Simple present becomes simple past. The girl, third person, is the speaker. So, I, if there is I or first person inside the inverted comma, it always changes into the person of the speaker. Yes, this is the best time I said calling on my memories. Calling on my memories, I agreed. Yes is changed into agreed. I agreed and said it was a best time. What is it like outside? I asked. Interrogative sentence starts with wh word. So, if or whether is not used. I asked, I asked what it was like outside. Simple present is changed into simple past. Why don't you look out of the window? She asked. She asked why I didn't look out of the window. Have you noticed I ventured that the trees seem to be moving while we seem to be standing still? I ventured to say if she had noticed that the trees seem to be moving while we seem to be standing still. She said to me, do you see any animals? She asked me if I saw any animals. Simple present changes into simple past tense. Say to becomes asked because this is an integrative sentence and it does not start with the word wh. So, it takes if. She asked me if. She asked me whether. I saw any animals. You have an interesting face, I said to her. I told her, I said to her, I told her that she had an interesting face. Second person inside the inverted comma always changes into the person of the listener. Her is in the third person. I told her that she had an interesting face have becomes had. Simple present becomes simple past. She said, it's nice to be told I have an interesting face. She said that it was nice to be told she had an interesting face. Have becomes had. Said, the comma is removed. She said that. Comma is removed and that word is used here. Yeah. She said that it was, it's, it is, it is becomes it was. She said I am tired of telling, people telling me I have a pretty face. She said that she was tired of people telling her she had a pretty face. I have, she had. I am tired, she was tired. She said I am tired. First person always changes into person of the speaker. She said that she was tired of people telling her she had a pretty face. I said, well, an interesting face can also be pretty. I opine that a 
interesting face could also be pretty can changes into good you are a very gallant young man she said but why are you so serious she said that i the narrator was a very gallant young man you are i was she said that i was a very gallant young man i means the narrator she is talking to the narrator it is supposed that she is talking to the narrator she said to me something like that she said that i the narrator was a very gallant young man and asked this there is also a question the girl is making a statement you are a very gallant young man and she is asking a question but why are you so serious so i am saying in this manner she said that i was a very gallant young man and asked why i was so serious a statement and a question she said to me why are you so serious she asked me why i was so serious simple present changes into simple past tense simple present tense changes into simple past tense she asked me why i was so serious wh word remains like that if or whether is not used in this interrogative sentence she asked me why i was so serious we will soon be at your station i said to her i told her that we would soon be at her station we will or we shall changes into we would i told her i said to her i told her i told her that we would soon be at her station goodbye the girls said the girl bid goodbye she was an interesting girl i said i said that she had been an interesting girl simple past becomes past perfect tense i said that she had been an interesting girl i said to him can you tell me did she keep her hair long or short i asked him i said to him i asked him if there is no wh word so it changes into could can the model changes into could can becomes could and if is added i asked him if he could tell me whether she had kept her hair long or short i don't remember he said i don't remember he said he said that he did not remember don't simple present tense changes into simple past tense did not he said that he did not remember comma is dropped that is added he said that he did not remember and the inverted commas are dropped in the indirect narration it was her eyes i noticed not her hair the man said the man said that it was her eyes he had noticed not her hair or you can say in this manner the man said that he had noticed her eyes not her hair the man said that he had noticed it was her eyes i noticed the man said that he had noticed her eyes not her hair she had beautiful eyes the new passenger said the new passenger said that comma is dropped that is used the new passenger said that she had beautiful eyes she said to me didn't you notice didn't simple past tense changes into past perfect tense he asked me this is interrogative sentence and do verb is used here wh word is not used in the beginning of the sentence so if is used after dropping the comma he asked me if i had not noticed she asked me 
She asked me if I had not noticed. She said to me, didn't you notice? He asked me if I had not noticed. I have other videos for discussing on various topics on grammar and text.